Welcome back, folks. So now we are required to derive sine of alpha plus beta to make sure that this always equals to sine alpha cos beta plus cos alpha sine beta. So this statement here is very important. In fact, we have to start from the left so that we can show the right. When we start with the left, we have sine alpha plus beta. So the next thing that we must do, we have to change the sine to its co-function, which is cross. Because of that, we have to introduce 90 minus. Then we open brackets. Then we put minus outside. Why are we saying so? This is because of 90 degrees is in the first quadrant. Having said that, here we, we remove brackets. We multiply alpha with negative. We multiply negative with beta. That is why here we have negative beta, negative alpha. After that, we group these together. As we can see here, they are grouped. Then we treat this as one angle. Call it angle A, then call this one angle B. Then you go to the formula sheet. When you go to formula sheet, we are going to meet this type of formula. Then this we treat it as UA. Then this is UA. And then this, this beta is UB, and this is UB. On other formula sheet, we find that the whole of this is alpha, and this is beta, and the whole of this 90 minus alpha is alpha. So when we proceed, we change this part here. We notice that actually 90 minus, it must change cos to its co-function. And the co-function, of course, is psi. We are positive here because 90 minus alpha is always in the first quadrant. Here, the co-function of psi is cos. 90 minus alpha is always in the first quadrant. Then we substitute where there is cos 90 minus alpha. We substitute by alpha. Where there is sine 90 degrees minus alpha, we substitute by cos alpha. And then this becomes your final answer here. And this is the same as in the left, the right hand side. So let me point out the most critical part of this problem. Make sure that you start with the left so that you show the right. Having done that, make sure that you, you change sign to cos and remember to group this angle Z. Make sure that 90 minus alpha, you treat them as one angle. So that when you go to your formula sheet, you can treat this as one angle. It can be angle E or it can be angle alpha, depending on the formula sheet. Another thing is for you to remember the concept of co-function, that the co-function of cos is sine, the co-function of sine is cos. We call them the co-function simply because we have 90 here. If it was 180 or 360, we're not going to change cos and sine to co-function. Even if it was 360 and 360, we're not going to change cos and sine to their co-functions. Hope this is clear, folks. So I, I advise you to watch this video again. And as you watch it, please write something down. And I thank you again for watching. So let's meet again on the next session.